morning guys it's july 21st and uh i'm gonna be in matthew 5 3 so you guys want to follow turn to matthew and the title of the day is the gateway to the kingdom i'm gonna be reading verses 5 1 through 5 12. I'm going to get started. Jesus gives the Beatitudes. One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. That's the verse of the day. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. Beware of placing our Lord as a teacher first. If Jesus is a teacher only, then all he can do is to tantalize me by erecting a standard I cannot attain. What is the use of presenting me with an ideal I cannot possibly come near? I am happier without knowing it. What is the good of telling me to be what I never can be, to be pure in heart, to do more than my duty, to be perfectly devoted to God? I must know Jesus Christ as Savior before His teaching has any meaning for me other than that of an ideal which leads to despair. But when I am born again of the Spirit of God, I know that Jesus Christ did not come to teach only. He came to make me what He teaches I should be. The redemption means that Jesus Christ can put into any man the disposition that ruled his own life and all the standards God gives are based on that disposition. The teaching of the Sermon on the Mount produces despair in the natural man, the very thing Jesus means it to do. As long as we have a self-righteous, conceited notion that we can carry out the Lord's teaching, God will allow us to go on until we break in our ignorance over some obstacle, and we are willing to come to Him as paupers and receive from Him. Blessed are the paupers in spirit. That is the first principle in the kingdom of God. The bedrock in Jesus Christ's kingdom is poverty, not possession, not decisions for Jesus Christ, but a sense of absolute futility. I cannot begin to do it. Then Jesus says, Blessed are you. That is the entrance, and it does take a long time while to believe we are poor. The knowledge of our poverty <clears throat> brings us to the normal frontier where Jesus Christ works. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for Him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. I don't know if he's talking about being poor financially or just being poor spiritually. Because when we're poor spiritually, you're looking for something. Because you're just so down and out with life. You need something. The Word in Christ is like the tree that's right next to the water and never thirsts. And some people just need have that need and they're thirsty and 
this is the only way to get get what you need and this is a type of food that's everlasting and it's always a home you can come to to get more because it never runs out and there's people that overflow and you know my goal every day is to be that overflowing cup no matter what the world throws at me which it's hard sometimes but I know I can come back because it even says right here God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him for the kingdom of heaven is theirs so if I know if I'm poor in spirit and in spiritual food I'm going to be blessed for it and I'm going to realize my need for him God bless you all if you guys are poor in spirit right now I just want to lift you guys up and tell you that you can come and get your food here because our God's a loving God and he has a bigger plan and he has you in his hand at all times all right guys have a great day but before I go uh, I'm gonna say a prayer dear Heavenly Father just thank you for another amazing day and I just ask you to touch everyone watching this video today and just lift them up no matter what's going on in their life just let them know that you're there in their life working for them and love them no matter what sometimes it's hard and we know that you're you're or we think you're not there but we need to just tell ourselves in our heart that you are and just know and have that faith lord i just want to lift your name up on high and all that i do and i just want to pray for everyone to lift your name high in all that they do thank you lord please keep us safe and teach us and mold us the way you want us to be molded today and lord as we put our armor on just i want to ask to just bless it please in jesus name to, to overcome whatever battle we're going through and be victorious and stand on this firm ground thank you in jesus name i pray amen all right you guys have an amazing day just remember you got the power of god with you everywhere you go just remember we got to stand in the righteous way and stand in truth all right see you guys i'm out of here